got too much dip on my chip. Got to slow down. No come for me for the whole no mint with chocolate thing. Because you know them all garden mints be hidden after you eat. <laughs> this does not look how Instagram does it. Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. So today is Sunday and I have so much to do so I thought I would just take you along with me. I'm literally not even going anywhere. I just have so much I need to do to get ready for the week. So I have to clean up my apartment because it is terrible. I'm going to show you guys. I also have to meal prep for the week. I also think I want to make hot chocolate bombs which is going to be fun. And just basically get everything done. That way this week I can focus on like doing my hair which is going to take a couple of days and getting ready for my restock which is on the 9th. Oh wait, before we get started, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, put your notifications on so you don't miss the rest of Vlogmas. Also, make sure to follow me on my social media platforms as well as, again, like I just said, my restock is going to be on Friday. I'm super excited for that. Alright, now let's get started. So I think I'm just going to show you guys room by room what it looks like and just do a before and after. And let me just say one thing for the people, like the performative cleanliness people that are going to come in the comments talking about, I would never. Just keep in mind, I run a full six-figure business by myself. I also manage five social media platforms consistently. So sometimes I don't have as much time as I would like to clean my apartment. I typically like to straighten up every day, every other day, and then do a deep clean like once a week. But sometimes that doesn't happen. Okay, so this is my desk. Honestly, this isn't that bad. I haven't really been over here this week. This is the uh, hair from yesterday's video, so I have to throw that away and just, you know, organize a couple things. As you can see, I was working on the video that I posted today, so that should be up by now. This is the state of the living room area. Again, not that bad, just got a full blanket up, fluff the pillows. I did spill some coffee this morning on my couch, so I have to get out my couch cleaner to clean that. All right, and then we have this area right here, which is where most of my business stuff is. So like I said, y'all, I had to make over 800 products last, as well as ship out over 500 orders. So we are finally done with that. Also have some inventory in here. This is a huge block of shea butter, I think. I'm gonna open my inventory for you guys in a couple of days. Then we have the kitchen area. Really isn't that bad. I mean, the dishes in the dishwasher are clean. I just have to straighten up. Also need to mop my floor because it is a little oily just from all the products I have been making. So my bedroom isn't even that bad either. I just need to make up my bed really and throw away like all the water bottles and stuff. For some reason, I just don't like making up my bed because I get right back in it so I don't see the point. Uh, I'm someone that sleeps a lot so maybe that's why. I don't know. Next. Okay, so this is the closet area. This right here is a hot mess. All these clothes are clean, by the way. I just threw them on the floor when I took them off. <laughs> all my dirty clothes go into the bin. So, But this is actually where I film all of my Instagram and um, TikTok content. See, we have the mirror, which has the lights attached to it, <laughs> and my little stand. So this just shows you don't need anything fancy in order to make good content. So, And finally, we have my bathroom, which honestly isn't that dirty. Like, the toilet and everything is clean. I have to clean that, like, every, you know, other day or something. But uh, I just have a bunch of just stuff I need to just clear off. Just kind of straighten up. All right, so I'm going to do that, then I'm going to show y'all what it looks like when everything is clean. By the way, ignore my hair, okay? If you watched yesterday's video, I took out my passion twist, so I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow. I just needed a break from, like, hair content for a minute because that took forever. And so I'm just going to clean up, probably put on some YouTube. Okay, kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. I watch a lot of Amberlynn Reed. If you know about that, then you know... If not, I'm not sure if I'll recommend getting into it because once you're in it, you can't get out. But I'm probably just going to put on some reaction channels of her videos and it should take me more than like two hours. So I'll be back and I'll show you. All right, it's been an hour and a half. So this is what the desk area is looking like a lot better than before. This is the living area, which looks 10 times better. I don't know why my camera's blinking like that, y'all. My bad. But as you can see, I cleaned up all the stains and everything. And I'm washing my blankets right now. This is what the kitchen is looking like. I'm about to cook, so I left some stuff out. But as you can see, it's so much cleaner, which we like. This is my little business area. And typically, I would put my inventory up. But like I said, I want to do an unboxing for you guys. So I'm just going to let it pile up here for the next couple of days as everything comes in. The bedroom. Literally just had to make up my bed. And that was pretty much it. 
my closet uh yeah i'm definitely gonna have to do a deep organization but for right now it's straight and finally my bathroom i just did a light clean because i'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow and i know it's gonna be a huge mess so i just kind of straighten stuff up and then tomorrow i'm gonna do like a super big clean on it so now we're actually about to meal prep for the week but before that i actually forgot to do something so i actually forgot to ship my giveaway orders when i shipped all my black friday orders yesterday so i'm gonna go ahead and do that if you guys don't know, I do monthly giveaways for my website. So these are the two people that were chosen for the Thanksgiving giveaway. And then I will probably do one around Christmas. And typically what I do is I just let the person pick one product that they want and I'll just ship it. Um, I don't do bundles with the giveaway because that's too much. But I'm just going to package these real quick and then probably... Tomorrow's Monday, right? So yeah, Monday, probably before I go to the gym, I'll just swing by the post office and drop these in the little box. Okay, so when it comes to meal prepping, y'all know I've been losing weight uh, since like September. I personally do intermittent fasting, which means that I'm only eating two meals a day, so I'm eating lunch and dinner, so that's what I'm gonna prep, probably about four days. So we're gonna start with dinner first because that takes the longest. Okay, so I was thinking red beans and rice with cornbread, and cream spinach so that's what i'm thinking and again i only eat twice a day so i'm not really super concerned about what i'm eating more so as long as it's home cooked it's not super fried or oily and my portions are good that's typically where i can be able to lose weight so you already have our beans here which i let soak overnight so those are good to go all right so now we're gonna cut up some sausages I don't know how much I want. I like a lot of meat in mine, but not too much. So like a good balance. Let's see, I'm gonna do one and then we'll see how much that is. So I'm just gonna cut it up into little slices. Oh, it's breaking apart, no. I think I need to sharpen the knife because it's not cutting the way I want. I don't know what kind of sausage this is. I just picked it up. Uh, it's the first thing I saw. So hopefully it's good. It looks like it will be. All right, I think I'm gonna do one more. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more. I like a lot of meat in mine. So we're gonna do one more sausage and cut it up. All right, so that's all the sausage. I also like to use this type of sausage. But the thing with this is, this is really high in calories and it's super like oily and greasy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cook that sausage in the pan. And then, you know, the juices from that sausage, I'm gonna cook the red beans and stuff in. And then I'm gonna cook this separately and just add it in at the end. That way I can get rid of a lot of that grease and oil. So it comes in little like links. So what I do is just take it I actually had a friend who did this, so she taught me how to do this. I just take it and out of the little casing and I just roll it into balls. And so I keep doing this till I have enough. I, this is so good. Like, it really is good, but it's just high in calories, so you got to be careful with it. All right, so I'm going to finish doing that, and then I'm going to come back. Okay, so I have the sausages going, and I forgot to buy an onion, but it's okay because we have this right here that I'm going to use. And we also need some garlic. So I'm just gonna drop, I peeled some cloves of garlic, so I'm just dropping them in this. And then I just close it and we just chop it. TikTok made me buy this and honestly, I would say it's 100% worth it. I'm pretty sure this is in my Amazon storefront, but if not, I'll make sure to check before I post the video. But look, it chopped all the garlic inside, so. All right, so as far as the cornbread, I'm just gonna make it now and then once the Red beans are like almost done, put it in the oven. But I'm gonna use Jiffy, okay? I know it's kind of controversial, but I like Jiffy, but I also like the real cornbread that you like your grandparents cook. But I can't make that. So we're gonna use Jiffy. I bought two packs, so I think I'm just gonna make one for now. And if I need more later, I'll just make it. All right, so we got the one egg. And I don't measure the milk. I just kind of guesstimate and then add it till it's the consistency I want. All right, let's see. I'm gonna add a little bit more milk. So I'm actually gonna just do like the cupcake version to kind of like baking the whole thing. And I forgot Pam. So what I'm gonna do is take some olive oil and I'm gonna put it on a paper towel. And I'm just gonna rub the inside of the each tin. This is also a non-stick, but you still wanna make sure. All right. Then we're just gonna put it in the things. Good. Okay, so it made six. I'm about to wipe off the outside. All right, that's it. And so for the rice, I'll make that once the red beans are almost done so it's fresh. And then the cream spinach, I'll also make that. 
in maybe like an hour or so. Um, this typical rubbing and rice takes, what, like three or four hours, so we actually got a long way to go. But it should be done right now. It is 6 o'clock, so it should be done around 10, which is usually when I eat. So I think that's perfect. So, all right, so we're done with this. Okay, now for the fun part, we are going to be making hot chocolate bombs. This was really trending last year around the holidays, and I didn't get to make it, but we are going to make it this year. So I went on Amazon, and I got the silicone molds that you use to make them. Okay, so this is what they look like. And so I'm gonna wash these and then what I'm gonna do is I have some semi-sweet chocolate that I'm going to melt and then we're gonna start. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm just gonna open it. I think I'm gonna do one bar first and then I'll just do another one if I need to. So just break. I'm actually just gonna break it up into small pieces that way it will melt faster. This is so satisfying. Y'all hear that? So we're gonna go melt it. So I ended up melting both bars because I didn't think I was gonna have enough. Ooh, it's hot. And these molds are a lot smaller than I thought they would be. But I guess what you just do is you just put it in there, like a thin layer. Let's see. And then you swirl it around to get a uh, like it along the lines. Okay, and then I guess you're supposed to let the rest drip out. So I'm gonna do that over here. All right, then I'm gonna wipe off the mess that's on the side. All right, and so I'm just gonna repeat this for the rest of them and then I'm gonna come back. Okay, so things got really messy, but I think that looks good. So I put them on a plate so they wouldn't get messy in my freezer. So I'm gonna let them set in the freezer for what, like 10, 15 minutes and then we're gonna like fill them up with stuff. So yeah, while the chocolate is setting, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the lunch that I'm gonna prep, which is chicken salad. So I already had the chicken that I just took out of the, off the stove, just finished cooking. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pull apart this chicken with my two forks. Okay, then we have the eggs that I cooked with the chicken. That's something that I learned, like cooking it with the chicken, with the chicken broth, so they taste better. So I saw this trick that you can do so you don't have to peel an egg. So you take the egg, you just cut it down the middle, and then you use a spoon. Apparently you can just scoop it out. Cause why did that work? Yo. Oh, it came out. No shell, no nothing. Okay, so the way I was taught to cut up like any eggs for like a salad or anything, you just put it in your hand and then use a butter knife and just cut it in pieces like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's kinda hot. All right, then I'm gonna add some mayo. I use white mayo because, again, we're trying to lose weight, so this cuts down on the calories for me. Then I'm going to add some yellow mustard. Ooh. Dang, I hate when that happens. You shouldn't have to shake up some. Same thing with ketchup. Then I'm going to add some sweet relish. Ooh. And I'm also going to add some sugar. And then you basically just mix it and taste and just adjust as you go. And of course, I'm gonna add some seasonings too. I forgot to bring those out. You know, it's crazy how I just cleaned up my kitchen and now I have to clean it up again. But it's okay. I'd rather start cooking with a clean kitchen than a dirty kitchen. So, hmm, not bad. The only thing is, I did overcook the chicken. I put, I started cooking it when it was frozen, so I think I just thought I needed to cook longer than it normally did. So it's a little dry, but I don't know, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna do chicken salad sandwich with carrots that I have in there. And I'm gonna dip those in some ranch, light ranch. And then that's gonna be our lunch for this week. All right, now back to the hot chocolate bombs. So they have set uh, for like 20 minutes. So they should just be able to pop out from my understanding. Hopefully they do. Oh, these are stuck together. Oh, it broke up. Oh. oh. Oh, it's working. Some of them are, you know, a little misshapen, but that's okay. All right, this one didn't turn out too bad. 
All right, let me do the next one. That actually didn't even take that long to pop out. Oh, these are just coming right out. Oh, this one broke. No. I had too much dip on my chip. Got to slow down. So they are a little soft. So I think I'm going to put them back in the freezer just for maybe like 10 more minutes. That way they won't like mess up. But honestly, look at that. It's not even that bad. Okay, this is so much better. They're really set now. So I'm using this hot chocolate mix. And it's the best hot chocolate mix out there. Like, we could fight about it if you want, but there's really no point because I'm right. I wonder if this has a scooper in it. Oh, they wrong for this. They ain't got no scooper. Sorry, right. it's still the best. Okay, so a serving size is two tablespoons. I can't find my tablespoons, so I have my teaspoon. So we're going to do three teaspoons to equal a tablespoon. I'm going to try one first. Oh, look. I think we may just have to do half a serving because that looks like a lot. Or no, I'm just going to do two. I'm going to do two tablespoons in each. These are a lot smaller than I thought. I might put two of them per thing then. How many did I have? I have 12 in total, so I have to do six and then the top. So now what my plan was to fill some of them up with mini marshmallows and the other ones up with peppermint. I love candy canes. I really do. I'm just going to chop up one. I don't think I need two. I bought two though because I know I'm just going to eat them. But I love me a good candy cane. Have you ever seen the videos where they show how to make them? They're so interesting. By the way, y'all, I went into the bathroom a few minutes ago and I looked at my head. I just want to say I'm so sorry for coming on camera like this. <laughs> I didn't realize my head was this bad. But it's okay. Because once I get that silk press, ain't nobody can tell me anything. I don't know. For me, it's like, I will look any type of way and don't care. As long as my hair is done, I'm, I'm straight. I can have no makeup on, a bummy outfit, like everything just trash. But as long as my hair is done... I feel great. So when my hair isn't done, I feel so weird. That's just me. You know, some people it's like makeup, some people it's clothing, but for me, I gotta have my hair right. So I'm just gonna break this up into chunks. All right. <clears throat> so then I think, so we're gonna do half and half? Okay. So, some in here. Some in there. Oh, this actually turning out good. Don't come for me for the whole no mint with chocolate thing. Because you know them all garden mints be hidden after you eat. That they bring you with the check. Period. Alright, then I love me some marshmallows. I love marshmallows. I love roasted marshmallows. That's one of my best childhood memories is roasted marshmallows. In the backyard at my cousin's house. Loved it. So we're going to add some, a couple. Not too much. Light work. Light work. Doesn't that look so good? Oh, you can't really see. But it looks good, okay? Now, to, like, attach the tops to them, what I'm going to do is warm up this plate. That way I can just kind of melt it on the plate. So, I'm going to warm this up. All right, so we got the warm plate. So, let's see if this is going to work. Oh, it did work. Pick it up and then just stick it. Mm -hmm. Okay, not terrible. <laughs> This does not look how Instagram does it. I don't know how they do it on Instagram. I think, honestly, these are kind of smaller than what I thought. But honestly, they're not that bad. I'm kind of proud of them. We just got to mold it to fit. That's all. We make a, we make ourselves work. Come on, y'all. Y'all can't tell me these don't look like cho uh, hot chocolate bombs. They're a little rough around the edges, but you get the point. Okay. So, now what I'm about to do is put them out the, in the freezer and let them set so I'm ready to use them. And, of course, I'm going to come back and show y'all once uh it's done okay here is my dinner it's all done so red beans and rice cornbread and the cream spinach so i'm starving so i'm about to eat this and then after i eat this we're going to test out the hot chocolate bomb okay so this is what my meal prep looks like so i was able to do four days and i still had a good bit left over i think i made too much i made half a pack so i probably should have done like a third also with the chicken broth that was left for making the chicken salad i actually just decided to make a soup so i just threw in all the vegetables that were about to go bad in my fridge in there so i'm just gonna eat that with my chicken salad instead of doing like the carrots and ranch okay so i have some warm milk that I just warmed up in uh the microwave so i'm gonna grab the hot chocolate bomb I just grabbed this one. I don't know whether it has the peppermint or the marshmallow, so we'll see. Let's do it to where I can. All right, so we're going to just drop it in. And let's see how long this thing takes to melt and burst open. Oh, look, it's opening. You can see it's opening. Our baby, it gave birth. 
And it has the marshmallows in it, which is the one I actually wanted. All right, so now I'm gonna stir it up. I'm gonna go in with my immersion blender just to make sure it's like everything's dissolved. Then I'm gonna add some whipped cream. Then I'm gonna add some marshmallows on top. All right, let's taste it. Mm. Mm. Well, I think next time I'm gonna add a little bit more milk because it's a little bit too chocolatey for me. I like mine on like the more milkier side, but it's good. Mm, okay, we made chocolate bombs, yo. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Again, I apologize for my appearance. Tomorrow we are going to be washing our hair, so that means you're gonna get an updated wash day routine. So make sure that you are subscribed. Put your notifications on and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, follow me on my social medias. And remember, the restock is happening on Friday for all of my hair products. Well, I will also be showing you guys later this week how I make my hair products. So that's also very interesting. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Tell me what you're